let's discuss the topic on piecemeal distribution. Proportionate Capital Method Gradual Realization of Assets and Piecemeal Distribution When solving various problems in the dissolution of partnerships, we assume all the assets are realized immediately on the date of dissolution and all liabilities are paid off on the same date. But in actual practice, this happens rarely. The assets are sold gradually to realize the best price for them. Similarly, the liabilities are paid off gradually depending upon amount realized from the sale of assets. When assets are realized gradually, the following order of payment is adopted. 1. Payment to creditors and other external liabilities. 2. Payment of partners loan rateably. 3. If any amount remains after making above payments, this is utilized in payment of capitals to the partners. While making payment to partners, the following two methods may be adopted. 1. Proportionate capital or surplus capital method. 2. Maximum loss method. Proportionate capital method or surplus capital method. This method is suitable when the partner's profit sharing ratio is not as per their capital contribution and all the partners are solvent and are likely to remain so. The partners with the absolute surplus capitals are paid off first, followed by payment to others having surplus capitals. At last, payment is to be made to the partners in the profit sharing ratio. Calculation of Surplus and Absolute Surplus Step 1. Base Capital Divide capital of each partner by his profit sharing ratio. The smallest should be taken as base capital. Step 2. Relative Capital Calculate relative capital by multiplying base capital and profit sharing ratio. Step 3. Surplus Capital Calculate surplus capital by deducting relative capital. Step 2. From capital. Step 4. Revised base capital. Divide surplus capital. Step 3. By profit sharing ratio. The smallest should be taken as revised base capital. Step 5. Revised relative capital. Again, calculate relative capital by multiplying revised base capital and profit sharing ratio. Step 6. Absolute Surplus. Calculate absolute surplus capital by deducting revised base capital from surplus capital. Step 3. 